Platform LSF Smart Suspend Configuration. The first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, is install the Smart Suspend software. In the case of this demonstration, we have a single node cluster, so we're going to do a local installation. We first need to install the RPM, and then copy the Jariba license file to its local location. In this case, it's Etsy Smart Suspend Jariba.lic. Now you need to create a Smart Suspend status directory. The status directory should be accessible by every Smart Suspend enabled job on your cluster. This directory holds various files and keeps track of all the processes involved with each job. Now you need to configure the SSR LSF integration script. The integration script is located in User Share Smart Suspend. This integration script allows you to customize every aspect of your Smart Suspend installation. The only change you're required to make to this file is you must input the path to your shared status directory. In this case, NFS Smart Suspend SSR underscore logter. You can also make changes such as changing the default suspend and resume signal as well as the path to your suspended memory. Next we need to make changes to the lsb.qs file. As you can see here we have two queues defined, high P and low P. The low P we have set to be preemptible to the high P queue. We also define a job starter and job controls which handle launching, suspending, and resuming the job respectively. As you can see the SSR LSF integration script handles all of these functions. Now we need to reconfigure the cluster before continuing. Platform LSF Smart Suspend Demo Now that we've installed Smart Suspend and configured it for our LSF cluster, I will go ahead and demonstrate how it seamlessly integrates its capability in a real-world scheduling scenario. In this case, I will show how a lower priority job will automatically give up its resources to a higher priority workload. First off, let's submit a job to the low priority queue. This job utilizes memory and CPU resources. Now let's start the same job, but this time in the high priority queue. Since we've configured the lower priority queue with Smart Suspend, LSF will automatically suspend the lower priority job. As you can see, all the lower priority resources have been released. And now the higher priority job begins execution. Now let's go ahead and speed things up a bit. We can kill the higher priority job. Now you see LSF automatically resumes the lower priority job. We can also trigger suspension with a standard B-stop command.
Likewise, we can resume the same job with the bResume command. FlexNet license configuration and suspension with Smart Suspend. One of the most valuable capabilities of Smart Suspend is the ability to release a license feature when a job is suspended. To enable this for LSF, you need to make one small change to the lsv.qs file. For the low priority queue, we need to specify the license surfer location. You can use a ported host combination or an LM license file. You can also specify multiple license servers in a colon separated list. We will now reconfigure the cluster to take advantage of the new settings. Now let's demonstrate the license release in action. We'll start off by submitting a low priority job. Like the previous demonstration, this job utilizes memory and CPU resources. But in addition, you can see it uses a license feature as well. Now let's launch a high priority job. LSF will automatically trigger the suspension of a low priority job. One thing to notice is the license feature is immediately released upon job suspension. The high priority job when launched can immediately take use of this license feature. Now we'll go ahead and kill the high priority job. LSF will automatically resume the lower priority job. The license feature is checked out at the next heartbeat interval. This may take up to a couple minutes.